write another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Lachia. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Only Begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's what you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. Next, double honor to the head apostles of Great Millstone and the men on down and the elders. One is taught the truth according to the Bible, the King James Version. Like I said before, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. Fix this camera. So, Lachia. This week's lesson, we're just going to, um, I'm going to call it um, No Peace, man. Because contrary to popular belief, you got the president, you know what I'm saying, um, a.k.a. Um, Barack Obama. You got your local um, pork chop eating pastor. You know, you got your, your dad, you got your mom. You know what I'm saying? You got um, these so-called community leaders. Everybody's preaching peace, man. You got people um, marching, holding their hands, towards, um, fighting for world peace and so forth and so on. So I'm going to bring out through the spirit of Yahweh by Chanel Shai scriptures proving that there will be no peace. You know? And, and uh, the majority of these scriptures that I'm bringing out, um, who you hear to call Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shai, he's saying there's not going to be any peace, man. So he created everything. The Elohim, him and the other angels created everything. So he most definitely would know if peace or um, war is coming, right? So I'm going to read some scriptures through the spirit. First, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read. Um, we're going to Ecclesiastes. I ain't even had this one written down, but I throw that in there though. But this is scripture good for right about now for this lesson right here. Like I said before, another GMS on the go. This week's lesson is called No Peace, man. Contrary to popular belief, everybody says peace coming, but it ain't gonna be no peace. The war, man. War is in the air, man. Okay, that's what Yahweh Bashim is bringing. So the first scripture we're going to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 3. Selakia. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heavens. Right? Jumping down to verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8. A time to love. Just like the scripture said in verse um, 1. There's a um, time and a place for everything. It's like you got winter, spring, summer, and fall. That's just like the um, events that's going on throughout the four corners of the earth right about now, man. Everything's set up in its perspective order, man. You know what I'm saying? In an appointed time for it to happen, right? So it says right here, because the time for everything, right? Everybody knows that, right? It's a time to laugh, a time to sing, a time to dance, a time to preach, a time to keep silence. But like I said, the name of this video is No Peace, right? So verse 8, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. So it's a time to love, right? And then it's a time to hate, you know? Just like you can't have hot without cold. You can't have up without down. You can't have right without left, right? It says, um, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. See, the times that we're living in right about now, it's a time of war, man. It ain't, it ain't, it, we ain't living in a time of peace, man. It's heathens over there, man. You're a fool, man. You know? Laughing it up. Look, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? According to going through the scriptures, everybody's in that um, mirth type spirit right about now. When World War III is getting ready to pop off throughout the four corners of the earth, and America's going to get nuked by ICBM missiles, but everybody's laughing it up. You know, you got people shopping, buying, um, buying ice cream cones, so forth and so on, out with their boo or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you want to call it. When you got ICBM missiles pointed at America, man. So, what that scripture say again? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8 A time to love and a time to hate so, so it's love in the Bible and it's hate in the Bible, right? And it's a time and a place for all those things, right? It says um, a time a time of war and a time of peace We're living in the time of World War III getting ready to pop off man. So we ain't living in a time of peace Even though you got these, like I, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video You got the president of the United States, you have these so-called community leaders, these activists, everybody's walking around screaming for peace, right? But the scriptures did say, yeah, it's a time for peace, but then, you know, um, again, there's a time for war. It's madness, man. See, see they think it's going to be peace when war is really coming, right? And they're they going to get caught off guard, too, by them I see being messing with You know, everybody's murphing it up, jamming, so forth and so on. And you have, but you know, I got um, I see being messing pointed this way. So going into the lesson right there, I'm just pull out some um, a couple of scriptures and then I'm gonna wrap it up. This ain't a long lesson. Just hit some points. Proving that there's no peace coming. 
only death and destruction, only war, uprisings of the people, calamity. Why do you think all these things are going on throughout the four corners of the earth, man? And then you know right there, man, war is happening, calamities, uprisings of the people, man. Commotions, like the scriptures say. So St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. And it's written in red, so this is what they even call Jesus Christ speaking, the so-called black man, right? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Because everybody knows saying contrary to popular belief, everybody think when the Lord comes, it's going to be peace on earth, man. But the Lord right here is speaking. He's saying, don't think that I'm coming to send peace on earth, man. He said, don't, he said, think not. In your feeble mind, you know what I'm saying, that you do get, there ain't nothing up there, you know what I'm saying, but meatballs and spaghetti. There ain't no real deep thoughts up there. Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. Just like I keep, I'm going to mention it again. You know what I'm saying, you got these so-called activists, these so-called community leaders talking about peace is coming, man. When it ain't no peace coming, man. Only death and destruction, right? According to the scriptures, right? So what the Lord said again, St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Because these pastors most definitely, you know what I'm saying, always screaming peace, man. You know, they always telling the congregation, you know what I'm saying, oh yeah, peace and blessings. Look, God bless America, so forth and so on. Well, the God of this Bible, you know what I'm saying, said he ain't bringing peace to America, man. He bringing death and destruction, and the scripture's going to go into that. Verse 34 again, St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So for all you family guys, it's putting all your trust in your family, trying to be trying to get the biggest house with the picket fence, so forth and so on, trying to get your little dog, your little poodle, yeah. so forth and so on. So you can live a um, a, um life heavily after, you know what I'm saying, as they call it, you know what I'm saying here. Peace ain't coming, man. Your so-called dream of just dying old, you know what I'm saying, a good old age, you know what I'm saying? Nope, skipping down the street, so forth and so on, all that's gonna come to an end, because the Lord said he's gonna bring a sword, man. What's the modern day sword? The gun, man. What's the sword of all swords? The ICBM missile, man. Okay? The international, the international, uh, what is it called? Intercontinental ballistic missile. Water you have by Shemel Shah. That's, that's what's coming, man. Not peace. Not peace. Peace ain't coming, right? It says, um, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So it's gonna be, man, it's gonna be all kind of chaos, you know what I'm saying, going on throughout the four corners of the earth and even in your neck of the woods, aka your house, man, in your home, man. It's gonna be all kind of arguments going on, all kind of um squabbles, you know what I'm saying, if you wanna if you wanna call it that, man. You know? It's getting ready to go down according to the scriptures, right? So don't think that, and then you wonder why um, all these things are happening to your crib, you know what I'm saying? Like you, your wife, your kids, ain't nobody getting along. Because the scriptures said that, man. You have, that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is bringing. He's bringing division, man. Okay? Verse 36. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So your main enemies are going to be your family members, man. And if you're in, in this truth, you know what I'm saying, you best believe your family members going to probably be the one to rat you out, man. They know where you stay, you know what I'm saying, they know your whereabouts, they know your schedule, so forth and so on, so they can easily set you up, man. What did it say again, that last script, that last um, verse? St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. And a man's foes, his enemies, shall be they of his own household. So your foes going to be they of the household, man. You know what I'm saying? Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, if you in this troop, probably gonna be the ones that rat you out, man. They know your whereabouts, they know where your job is, they know pretty much everything about you, you know? So watch what you say around your family members, man. And if you read enough, then you should be circumspect anyway, man. Because your foes gonna be there at the household, right? And that's just one scripture proving that there ain't gonna be no peace, man. And the Lord already said, He bringing a sword. And then that's um that goes right into you know what I'm saying um, what, the, what the prophets speak about, man. The pastors in the churches don't speak like the real service of the Lord is supposed to speak, man. And I'ma just bring this quick one out right quick. Like I said before, this ain't a long lesson. I just wanna hit some points, man. You got everybody speaking about peace so forth and so on when ain't no peace coming, man. Our Lord and Savior just said it ain't no peace coming, right? So Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me. And before thee of old, prophesy both against many countries 
And the word prophesy means to tell you something before it happens. So the men out there on the highways and byways, starting off with our head apostles, the great millstone, and the elders on down, we prophesying like the prophets of old did, man. And like the prophets of today are doing. Because the prophets, there's, there's a such thing as reincarnation, man. The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. Okay, there's nothing new under the sun. So the prophets, you know what I'm saying, they spoke about wars, pestilence, and the things I'm getting ready to go into, they're back here now doing the same thing. They ain't speaking about peace, man. Only time we're going to get peace from Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, only time you're going to get peace is when we get into the kingdom of heaven, man, which will be played out on earth, right? So Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8 again. It's like it. The prophets that have been before me, and the word prophet, once again, means to tell you something before it happened, right? We're telling you things before it's going to happen. We're telling you ain't no peace coming, man. Only death and destruction is coming. That's war, right? The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries. And ain't that, ain't that what his real servants are out here doing, man? Out here on the highways and byways? When they do their sit down videos, they're speaking against great countries, right? Ain't America a so called great country? That, hey, the servants of the Lord are speaking against you, man. Okay? He says, um, and against great kingdoms. America is what you would call. Um, a so-called great kingdom, right? It's really a, um, a great corporation, man. okay? Because a kingdom has, has a king. A corporation has a president, man. And what do we have in America? A president, right? It says both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Of war, and that's the time we live in, man, war. World War III, man. It's about to pop off, and we let our people know that, man. By way of the internet, by way of um, out here on the highways and byways, man. okay? Just like the prophets of old, right? Um, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and all those are um, signs of bad times man evil which the word evil means bad time all of those things coming so that lets you know right there you know what I'm saying who the real servants of the Lord are and Lord willing we, we remain to the end so the real servants of the Lord are going to be letting you know about war you know what I'm saying what else and evils which the word evil means bad times they're going to be letting you know bad times are coming right it says, um, and of pestilence, enough diseases, man, enough plagues, man, are coming here to America. Just like ancient Egypt, America is spiritually Egypt and Sodom, man. Sodom and Egypt, right? All those things are coming here. Plagues that ain't even written of in the scriptures are going to hit America, man. Diseases that ain't even written of in the scriptures is going to hit America, man. And then you know right there that there's not going to be any peace, man, coming to America. Read on. Verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 9. The prophet which prophesied of peace. I love the church pastors, right? Your president, your um, the local um, community leaders, right? They prophesying of peace. They telling you that peace is gonna come, right? When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. So all these people going around saying peace is coming, you know, enough blessings. If all that come. You know what I'm saying? Do you know that Yahweh Bashinah Shai has truly sent that prophet? But if it don't, if death come, if war come, if pestilence come, do you know, you know what I'm saying? That the Lord had truly sent those men, man. And time, and, and they say um, time will tell, right? Well, time is telling right about now. If you've been watching the news, you see ain't nothing but wars going on, enough diseases, the H1N1, the Ebola, the Zika, you know, the SARS, so forth and so on, man. Up, uh, um, uprising of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, famines. The real servants of the Lord are telling you those things is, is going to come to pass before they happen. And they happening right about now, man. Right in front of your eyes, man. So you got to ask yourself, man. You got to be real with yourself, man. Who is the real servants of the Lord? Those guys up in the churches that are telling you peace is coming? Or those guys out there on the highways and byways letting you know ain't no peace coming? Only war, death, and destruction is coming, man. You got to ask yourself that, man. It's 2016, man. Okay. I'm gonna, read, I'm gonna read probably about two more. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, and that's how people are gonna get caught off guard too, man. Listening to these false prophets, man. The T D Jakes, the Al Sharp Tongues, the Jesse Jacksons, the Creep Show Dollars, so forth and so on. They're gonna get our people in a world of trouble, man, following behind these leaders, man. These so called leaders, man, these charlatans, man. This is um Salakia. Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Death and destruction is coming here to America, man. Our people are gonna seek peace, but there's no there's not gonna be none, man. 
You see our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans walking up and down the street, screaming for peace, justice, so forth and so on. But what does scripture say? This is the most I speak when you're going to call God, right? Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction coming. We're telling you, you know what I'm saying? Lamentations, mourning, and woe. Destruction is coming, right? Definite destruction is coming, right? Destruction coming. And they shall seek peace. Ain't that what our people are seeking right about now? Peace from all these other nations, man. Seeking that vain help, right? Like, like it says in Lamentations, the fourth chapter, right? They're seeking out the vain help, right? They're seeking that peace, right? They're catching hell, so they're seeking peace, right? What did it say? And they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. So ain't no peace, man. Ain't, hey, peace is not coming for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Or nobody on the earth, man. You know? Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get delivered, man. Everybody else going to catch pure hell, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Ain't going to be no peace for you, man. You know, the elect is catching hell right about now. It's more hell to come. Lord, when we part of that? But the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to endure until the end, man. They know it ain't no peace coming, man, until America is destroyed. That's when peace going to come. But as long as America is here, you Negroes, Latinos, and American Indians are going to stay catching hell, man. Okay? So, lock in. So, I'm going to read that one more time. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction coming. So, keep listening to your pastors in your churches. Keep listening to your so-called community leaders. Keep listening to your president, Barack Obama. And you're going to get, you know what I'm saying, destruction. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. This is the most high speaking. Don't he know what's going to come? You know, shouldn't he know? Shouldn't the God, the God of this Bible know what's getting ready to come to pass, man? Okay? If nobody else don't know, him and his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shouldn't they know what's getting ready to happen, man? You know? And plus, everything was already written anyway, man. So once again, destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans walking up and down the street, Black Lives Matter, so forth and so on, seeking peace from these Edomites, from these devils, or seeking peace from any one of these heathen nations, man. Peace is not coming, man. Destruction is. We bring out probably like two more. And I'm going to wrap it up. And like, and these are basic scriptures, man. Straight to the point. You know? This ain't um calculus and all that right there, man. These scriptures are basic, they're plain. And to the ones that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's plain to them to have knowledge, right? So this um first Thessalonians. Salakia. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, ain't that ain't that ain't that what your so-called community leader saying? Peace and safety. You ain't got nothing to worry about, everything's gonna be alright, God's gonna make it uh, make it better. For you over here in America, ain't that what our people are saying? Ain't that what the community is saying? Ain't that what the so-called white people are pushing to our people, right? Ain't that what the president is pushing? You know what I'm saying? So once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, when these so-called leaders, you know what I'm saying, start telling our people, Peace and safety is coming. That's thing you know, I see being missiles, man. World War III pop off. All hell pop off, man. Death and destruction pop off, man. And it's going to catch you people off guard. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the, um, the, that thief in the night coming, man. Catching you off guard, right? Once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. Just like when a woman start having um having the contractions and all that, man, it comes fast, man. Then the contractions start getting worse and worse, faster and faster, faster and faster. And that's they know she had a baby. It come all of a sudden, man. Okay, no one can really predict the date. Just just like you no know saying them saying peace and safety and sudden destruction coming, man. You don't know when it's gonna happen, but we do know it's it's happening. It's happening now, but you don't know when those ICBM missiles gonna get let off. You know, but you do know, you know what I'm saying that the peace and safety ain't working, man. Okay, it says, um, sudden destruction cometh upon them. And look, it's going to be sudden too, man. That's the, then you know right there, it's going to be unexpected. Man. These people ain't expecting death and destruction to come to America, but it's going to come. Man. Okay, it says, um, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And they shall not escape. Two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you're not going to escape the judgment of the Lord, man. And I got many other scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Later on, I'll probably do a lesson through the Spirit. Be how about you know, shy on this. 
make this um ongoing series, Lord willing, through the spirit of your house, by shooting your shot. But I got I got enough scriptures, man, that I can pull out, man. The Lord say, you know what I'm saying? Um, what would it be if it's already on fire? It's already kindled. When he come, when the Lord come, America's gonna already be on fire, man. You know? And like the scriptures say, the prophets of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence, man. Who's doing that? You know? Starting off with the apostles of great millstone and the elders on down and the men up under them and a couple of other camps affiliated with them. Man. They're telling you that there's not going to be no peace, only death and destruction, man. So take heed to the service of the Lord, not your lying ass pastor in the churches, man, or your um, community leaders. It's feeding you with lies, but that's what two thirds want. Y'all want lies. So y'all going to um, turn away from y'all ears from hearing the truth. Y'all going to hearken into lies, meaning y'all going to listen to lies, man. And then all of a sudden, all hell going to break loose and then it's too late for you, right? But ain't going to be the dead horse, man. Hope brothers are edified, you know what I'm saying? Hey, ain't no peace coming, only death and destruction, man. So with that, man, another GMS on the go. We're saying that, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, right? Double honor to the head of apostles, the great millstone, and the elders on down, the ones that taught us the truth according to the Bible. Double shout of one to all the sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out, letting our people know that ain't no peace coming. Only death and destruction, man. To the elect, keep the faith, pray for more faith, death to America, death to two thirds. Peace and blessings to the elect. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Kwame Yahweh, Shalom.